Hey now, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from BarPatrol.net and OrderPatrol.net. Today, I'm going to share with you the 20 most common ways that bartenders are stealing from you and your bar. That's right, I said 20. That's some creative thieving. And if you think your bartenders are only giving away some, but not that much, you are as naive as my grandmother who thinks that nobody ever has sex until they're 40 and married. And then, even then, just in the dark. Under the covers with their clothes still on. In other words, wake up. The truth is I've taken thousands of inventories for dozens of bars around the San Francisco Bay area and never once was their variance below 20% when I first got my hands on them. And the average variance was right at 26%, which basically means every fourth drink is free. Yeah. When you put it like that, it's pretty scary. All right. The sad truth is the bar industry breeds thieves. And this is because conformity is contagious. And in this case, it's bubonic plague contagious. All right, bartenders are doing what everyone else around them is doing, which is, in this case, of course, giving away free drinks. And to put it bluntly, it's your own fault. I'm sorry, but it is because you make it so easy for them because you have no system of, of accountability in place. So the bartenders take what they want. This is exactly why I created Bar Patrol app. Think about it. If those same bartenders worked at Nordstrom's and they were giving away free suits, you wouldn't tolerate that. So why do you allow them to give away your liquor? All right, product is product and the bar business is an inventory business just like any retail store. Just because other bars allow it doesn't mean you should. Okay, enough preaching. Let's get to the list we have here. You're like, gee, thanks, Dad. Thanks for the lesson. That's great. All right, so I'll stop preaching. Here are the 20 ways that bartenders are stealing from you. Number one is the no ring. All right, this is the most common one, and it's the reason why your security cameras are absolutely worthless. All right, unless someone's actually just stuffing bottles into their backpack like morons, all right, your security cameras can't catch this. With the no ring, bartenders are taking cash from the guests, and they're not ringing the drinks in, and they're just keeping the cash. And if it's done right, it's virtually undetectable, which is why you need a system like Bar Patrol in to make sure you're checking the variants. All right, the way this works, for example, is... Two customers order two beers, say it's $10 total, $5 each, they hand you a 20, take the 20, you go ring in one beer, give them change for the 20, but you keep the other $5, you don't ring in that other beer. It looks like to the cameras that you're ringing in drinks and giving change, but now the bartender just made $5 and you lost $5. Number two is the short ring. Guest orders a $5 beer, instead the bartender rings in a soft drink or beverage for $2, now they just made another $3. Number three, the overcharge. You're basically telling the guest that the total is more than it actually is. They order four drinks, should be $28. Bartender says, that'll be $33. Bam, they just made another $5. Number four, the bartender claims that a guest walked. All right, they can't do this too often or they're going to get in trouble, but they could do it once in a while. So in this case, they actually have the money from the guest. Then they tell the manager, I don't know where they went. Bartender keeps the money. Manager comps the entire meal. Bartender gets rich. Number five, the short pour. This actually hurts the guests more than anyone. Bartender basically short pours on the drinks for a while and then doesn't ring in a drink and just keeps that money and it doesn't affect the pour cost percentage. Number six, they're giving away free drinks. All right, this is done for friends or good regulars in hopes of receiving a large tip. All right, this is one you can use your precious camera for. Number seven, they bring in their own bottles of liquor. All right, this is old school. Now the bartender can pour from their own bottles, collect the cash, and it won't show up on the liquor cost. Number eight, they water down the bottles. All right, this isn't extremely common anymore, but it does still happen. Number nine, they're hooking up the employees. All right, this is basically the same as number six. They're just giving away free drinks. Number 10, they just steal bottles right out of the liquor room. All right, there's nothing fancy here, just flat out robbery. This is for the truly incompetent thief with no imagination. Number 11, they claim that the guest didn't like the drink. So in this situation, the drink is caught by the manager, the cash is pocketed, which leads us into number 12, which is they say that the drink was spilled or knocked over. Same result, drink is cop, uh, comped, the cash is pocketed. Number 13, drinking on the job. This is very common in bars, which is why you need to have a drink policy in place. All right, one shot a night, two shot a night, whatever it is. Mine is no drinking at all, okay? It attracts liability issues, it's sloppy, it's unprofessional, and it's costing you money. Okay, bartenders think it's no big deal, but without permission, it's stealing. Number 14, they pour well liquor when premium was ordered. This is similar to the soda example we had earlier. So a guest orders a Grey Goose and soda for $9. 
Bartender takes the money, rings in a well vodka soda for $6, keeps the extra $3. Number 15, they claim that their drawer is short. Okay, so at the beginning of the shift, the bartender is usually supposed to count the drawer, make sure it's all there, but they can take like 20 bucks out, say, hey, the drawer is short. If you don't have systems in place, like if you haven't counted the drawer a couple times yourself as a manager, uh, as you should, then you're screwed, okay? But if you have, you can say, nope, sorry, buddy, I counted it, that's on you. Now, speaking of, a good way to test your staff's integrity is to leave the drawer over when you give it to them. So if it's supposed to be at $300, put like 350 in there, give it to them, see if they say anything. But I digress, moving on. Number 16 is they pour heavy. This is probably the most common thieving tactic. They're pouring heavy for regulars in order to get a bigger tip. Number 17, they fudge the spill tab. And if you don't know what a spill tab is, a lot of bars will have what they call a spill tab that they put on the POS system, the bartender starts it, and at the end of the night, all the drinks on there get comped. These are drinks that get put on there because the guests didn't like it, they got spilled, there's a bug in there, and as the night, this thing gets bigger and bigger. I hate a spill tab, I don't think you should have one. The drink should be comped as it happened. Go get the manager, say, hey, this guest didn't like it. They can double check, talk to the guest, make sure this is legit. Do not start a spill tab, but this is a way that bartenders will give away free drinks, put it on the spill tab, and say that it, it, there's something wrong with it. Number 18, ringing in modifiers. So when a drink is ordered up or as a martini, usually that means ex extra liquor is poured, and there's usually like a $2 upcharge. So what the bartender will do is they will upcharge them, but they won't actually pour the extra liquor, which gives them a surplus to play with throughout the night. Number 19, they use the open liquor button. Okay, so the bartender is going to use this button to undercharge the guest. So the guest orders a drink. Maybe it's not in the POS. It's some specialty drink, and it should be $8. Bartender rings it in as a $4 cocktail, keeps the extra $4. I don't like open liquor buttons, open beer, open wine. My suggestion, don't have those in your POS. They're impossible to track anything going on in your bar. And finally... The final way that bartenders are stealing from you, at least on my list, number 20, they claim the wine is corked. Okay, they get a bottle of wine, they put it on the spill tab, claim it's corked, but they serve it anyway, and they keep the cash. Well, there you go, 20 ways the bartenders are robbing you blind. All right, pretty scary stuff. This is exactly why I started Bar Patrol. I myself bartended for 15 years, so I know exactly what's going on behind the bar, but you need to know what's going on behind the bar as well. And if you don't have an inventory management system in place, you're losing 25% of your products. That means your profits are going right down the drain. So I hope this helped, although I'm sure it's not going to help you sleep any better at night knowing all this. At any rate, I appreciate you being here. I am going to see you next time. I'm out.